You're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped, and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. Lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking.
Hand drop, move out. You get lost, look for me. Ten seconds! Stay with me and we'll get through this. We've got to take that beach. Clear the ramp! Cover fire! Wait for my order! Covering fire! Patterson! I won't make it back with this law of Bangalore's unless you give me cover! Stay behind me and keep shooting! Ready? Patterson, and watch for fire from those bunkers! Good work, Patterson! All right, Jones, let's blow this fence! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Cover. They're stuck for late on the other side. Everybody, over the seawall. We're pushing them back. Let them have it. Patterson, get over here now. We'll never get. 
bunker unless we lose the two machine gun nests guarding it. Patterson, if you can make it across that minefield to the turret, you can use it against those nests up there. We'll cover you. Covering fire! Wo 
Luger an! June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. 
Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong? Good morning, Lieutenant Patterson. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're looking well rested. Good. I'll need you in tip-top shape for your new assignment. You've proven to be quite resourceful, especially your performance most recently in scuttling U-4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Fuhrer. A cadre of high-ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He's appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisers in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. We've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy.
007. Pull out of me now! By the John Castro, 451 Was hat ein Schaf da drinnen? Das Zeug ist schwer wie Blei.
Die Plane drüber, falls es regnet. Willst du wohl befördert werden, Kurti? Na gut, dann lass mal das Zeug eben verrotten.
Mach dir wieder ein freies Schlussfeld haben! Ah!